So why did Spotify shift from music to podcast so heavily? You are watching Flight in Progress. Jayhawk Productions. Hey, yo, what's good? My name is Jayhawk, and welcome to Jayhawk Productions. Today, we're going to talk about why Spotify is shifting from music to podcast. How Spotify even first got here, of course, music streaming. And if you are a millennial like myself, or you're a little bit younger, we came here from LimeWire, from Aries. We jumped to iTunes. Uh, with our iPods, and then we jump to SoundCloud pretty much to what it is now, which is music streaming. And Spotify, I do have a Spotify account. It's, it's cool. I think I got an account, didn't really know what it was. I found out you can make playlists. I loved it. It, it. it was a good look. But what I didn't realize is what was going on in Spotify's actual business behind the scenes. And that's what I want to talk about now now that i realize i'm using spotify more for podcast than music which is me being a music creator is definitely odd so uh spotify ceo daniel elk his goal has always been to be the number one audio platform i feel like when they first came in it was clear you know music that's it you know but i feel like as they progressed they realized how music probably wasn't going to be the number one thing they would go after. So why did Spotify shift from music to podcast so heavily? If you're not familiar, when you stream a song on a audio platform like Spotify, the creator is then paid out a couple different forms of royalties, performance royalties, mechanical royalties, master right royalties. And over the years, it seems like Spotify and other music streaming platforms don't want to pay these increasing rates to creators, you know, which is weird because they started off being a music company and yet now they don't want to pay creators more, more money. They're saying it's, it's becoming a problem, whether it's major labels or whether it's independent labels. They're seeing that they can't just pay pennies or half a half of a half of a penny for years that that's going to have to change and every year these music labels and independent artists are confronting them and raising that rate the rate needs to be higher i'm a music creator i know that the rate needs to be higher so i feel like spotify realized that they needed to shift from music and seeing that their goal was being the number one audio platform podcast was like right there and it wasn't really a medium that was being explored like that so in 2019 spotify spent over 400 million acquiring a lot of a lot of services and they spent money over the year but definitely 2019 they definitely attacked podcasting at the forefront and purchased gimlet and anchor i'm not that familiar with gimlet but what i read is they specialize more so in the content producing and Anchor, I am familiar with, is an actual distribution tool to get your podcast onto Spotify's platform. So instead of just kicking back and realizing, okay, we're gonna make podcast and we're seeing all these companies basically is using us as a third party companies, why not just buy them directly and keep their staff and everything like that? And that's what they decided to do. So Spotify definitely threw their weight around and bought out these companies to close the market. Now what Spotify realizes is that market share is everything. You know, one thing that I look at, I think I read somewhere that Gmail was like 70% of everybody's email address. Why? Because they pretty much not only did was were they one of the ones to get there first, but they did it the best. They didn't just do like Yahoo did, Yahoo Yahoo Mail, it just kinda was there. We all had Yahoo, we all had SBC Global.net. AOL, the add-ons that they were able to build with Gmail, it just made it so much easier. And I think Spotify is recognizing that and they want to be the Gmail of podcasting when it comes to the podcasting world. So that's why they bought Anchor, uh, Gimlet, and a bunch of other companies because they want to expand on that. And I just read a report that they also just opened their uh, podcasting to a, uh, third, uh, API developers. 
So that means it's, it's about to get crazy because now people are going to be fighting to create something within the Spotify app or something that can work as a, uh, as a bridge to it. Another reason why Spotify is shifting to podcasts is royalties. If they're forced to pay out the royalties that the music industry and independent labels are axing, it, it might cripple their business, you know, which is, you know, at the same time, I see both sides. I see why they will protect their interest and, and pivot their, their focus to podcasting. And on the other side, I see why me being a musician and me knowing artist friends and how much they get paid per million streams or per hundred thousand is barely enough to pay their rent. So I see it from both sides. It's understandable that Spotify would diversify a little bit. I started listening to podcasts on Spotify about maybe two years ago. Me, I was a big fan of the Joe Budden podcast. Uh, still am. They were uh, on YouTube, but then they, I found out that they switched to Spotify twice a week. Didn't really know what that meant, so I switched over. And then now I listen to about... I at least listen to about three or four podcasts, like regularly. I don't listen to podcasts anywhere else but that app, pretty much. So it's grown with me. I've been on it for like a little over a year, two years now, and now it's just regular. So now you know I'm able to listen to music and podcasts. And that's another big thing why they switched is you can put music and podcasts in the same playlist now, which I think is dope. So you can listen to that new Travis Scott song or whatever, and then right after the Travis Scott song, you got an episode of the Joe Budden podcast back to back, you know what I'm saying? And then your next song is a Kanye song or whatever. So I love that model and I'm a fan, you know, I think they're really killing it and they're gonna be around for a while. They're gonna, especially with this new development of them opening their platform to uh, APIs and uh, developers to build on top of the podcasting app. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting. I just want to make this video for anybody confused as to why you're seeing more podcasts on Spotify. It's because you know they're kind of tired of the music industry. It's because they're kind of tired of royalties. Their goal that they set out to be the number one audio platform. Audio meaning everything, meaning audio books, meaning podcasts, meaning music. They want to be number one. And this is how you position yourself to be the top dog. When you buy podcasting companies, that's a pretty clear indication of where you want to end up. So now you guys know that'll settle up any confusion. My name is Jayhawk. I'm a music producer from Los Angeles, California. You're watching Flight in Progress. You're watching Jayhawk Productions. And you guys have a good one. Follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash jayhawkproductions. My website, jhawkproductions.com. Subscribe to the channel, like, comment. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. And yeah, we out. Have a good one.